Hello everyone, Sam here from Mind Body Medical. So this Thursday we're releasing our free Ayurvedic week-long challenge and we'll be releasing more information about that specifically tomorrow. Um, and building on yesterday's video, I want to talk a little bit about some of the approaches we can do to ramp up our immune system and our antiviral capacity. Um, there's a few things, and we could talk for hours about this, so it's a case of picking a few things that have a big impact, a big gain for little effort um, to ramp up our antiviral capacity. This time of year, there's a lot going on about coronavirus, just general uh, winter flu season and whatnot. Um, so these are three top tips. So number one is sleep. It sounds like it's a little bit weak or it's not as obvious as the really strong herbal medicines, but sleep is when our body repairs and rejuvenates. And there's absolutely clear, compelling evidence that as our sleep quality and quota drops, our immune system and our immune capacity drops with it. So conversely, good restful sleep results in a strong, mobilized immune system. And that's key because being exposed to a virus doesn't necessitate infection. There's loads of research showing we can breathe in a virus, if our immune system, if our host defenses are strong, we can contain and destroy a virus before it causes an infection. A key way of doing that is making sure our immune system is strong and sleep facilitates that. So this is the kind of thing we'll be covering in our free Ayurvedic challenge. We've got a whole day, a whole section on optimizing sleep. And here's one simple thing you can do. Just a glass of warm milk, dairy or non-dairy milk, stir in a teaspoon of ashwagandha powder and a pinch of nutmeg and drink that about half hour before you go to bed. It helps to calm down the nervous system. It releases something called GABA, which is a sleep modulator. It's just a simple way of inducing deeper sleep. The second thing we wanna be doing is we wanna be eating good food, but good food at the right time of the day. Again, this is a key component of our Ayurvedic challenge eating times because if we're eating great food, if we're eating food loaded with vitamins, loaded with minerals, loaded with antioxidants, those powerhouse components are only helpful if we can extract them and assimilate them into the body. If we can't do that, they don't give us any benefit. And the best way of maximizing our extraction of nutrients is to eat at the right times of the day. So simply having breakfast between about seven and eight in the morning, lunch between about 12 and 1.30, 2-ish, dinner between about 5.30 and 7, 7.30. That's when our digestive system is at its optimum. If we eat at those times, we extract more nutrients. That bolsters our immune system, immune system and our ability to prevent infections. Um, thirdly, which yesterday we were speaking about integrative Ayurveda, about adopting approaches into Ayurveda that fall with outside of it. And one great example is elderberry. Yeah, elderberry is one of the most clinically proven herbal antivirals in the global herbal, herbal pharmacy. It's been tested against influenza. It's been tested against a huge array of viruses and we know it's clinically proven in that capacity. The fact that elderberry doesn't fall within the Ayurvedic herbal formulary doesn't mean we shouldn't include it. So for us, this time of the year, if, we, if we're at high risk of a viral infection, then you know, taking elderberry, taking elderberry syrup, usually comes in tincture or syrup every day, is a great way of ramping up our antiviral capacity to maximize our ability to prevent a, a virus that we breathe in or we consume in the body um, from preventing a fully fledged uh, viral infection. Okay, the very last thing, bonus fourth, is to lubricate your nostrils with something sticky. Coconut oil, olive oil, even Vaseline. You can use a medicated Ayurvedic oil, like Anu oil, but it acts like a flypaper. Most of the viruses we breathe in, they're, they're droplets, they're suspended in the air. We breathe in most air through our nostrils, so that brings the virus into our respiratory tract. If our, if our, if our nasal membranes are really sticky, it catches the virus before it gets into the respiratory tract and the, the immune system destroys it. Um, and prevention is always better than cure. So keeping every day before you leave the house, just lubricating both nostrils to make sure we, we catch viruses before they get into the respiratory tract. So four simple things. That this is the kind of content we're covering in the challenge. We're super excited about it. We're talking about it tomorrow, but just get those four things working and you'll get big benefit for not much effort.